Hey guys and girls, welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, in today's video, we're going to be talking about trailer hitches, specifically the McHitch hitch. Now, this is a long term review. I've had the hitch on the camper here for a good 18 months now, and it's done some severe corrugated roads. It's been up and down some hills, and it's been bush. It's actually been used for what it's meant to be used for, and that's off road. So, what I'm going to do is going to run some through use from some pros and cons of the McHitch itself and what I thought of it and then what we'll do is we'll do a hitch and unhitching so if you're not familiar with the hitch itself we'll run through that as well all right so let's get stuck in all right good things about the McHitch it's easy to maintain I can do it you can do it there's just two greasing points here I just give them a grease every six months or so just keep the inner workings going in there uh, the only other thing you have to do to maintain your hitch is obviously inspect it regularly is use a product called Dry Glide, and you use it on this end and on that end on the car, and that just helps lubricate the things up. Another good thing about the McHitch, you can go straight on this way, or you can also hitch up your camper or caravan on a bit of an angle. Now, how do we know that we can do this? A friend of mine who's got a Baruta camper van has got one of these uh, fitted as standard equipment from Baruta so it says a lot about McHitch and Baruta teaming up and putting their products together. So yeah, that's really good. Another good thing is just, I, I, I really like this product. Um, I had a poly block on here once before and it was a nightmare to hitch up on my own. So yeah, that's a good thing. Bad things about the McHitch. There is a bit of a learning curve when you first get it because you've got to physically reverse onto the McHitch or pull your camper to the car onto it. It does make a bit of a banging noise and it does sort of startle you the first few times you use it but once you get over that hurdle it's easy to use what I might do now is I might just um, show you how we hitch and unhitch it quick little demo and we'll take it from there and um, if you've um, liked the video don't forget hit that subscribe button it helps me heaps all right so we'll just do the hitching and unhitching let's get stuck in Give you a bit of a demo of how we hitch it up. Now, on my camper, I've got a little mark on my jockey wheel, so I know what the height's gonna be to reverse it onto. Handy hint there for you. I've got two cameras, I've got that one, and I've also got this one over here, and that'll show you how it all hooks up. So let's back her up and hitch her on. All right, here we go. There you go, hitched up, ready to go. Pop the pin in there. Now, the advantage of the McHitch it has two attachment points. It has this little lever here that comes down. And excuse my back, it also has this big retaining pin here, which goes through the little hole there and attaches on the other side. Now, McHitch supply a pin and they also supply a trailer lock for that. So that's, you know, one extra thing you get for free, so to speak. So what we'll do now, is we'll show you how we disconnect the camper. Obviously, what we do, first things first, we pull the pin out, pretty easy. Lift the lever, because there's no tension on that lever. All right, and we'll just disconnect the camper. I'll show you how easy that is. There you go, disconnected, off, ready to go. Ah, uh, the McHitch, I give it a double thumbs up. And that's what you can do too. You can give me a like, a subscribe and a thumbs up. Uh, hopefully this video has been as informative as I hope it was. All right guys, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.